Hello everyone, I'm Thomas Kincaid. I'd like to welcome you to my studio and tell you that I'm presenting today a new painting which is called The Bridge of Hope. Now as you may be aware, I have painted a number of bridges over the years. Now, one of them, Bridge of Faith, became one of the most famous paintings I think I ever did. In fact, this painting was used to raise money for an organization called World Vision that sponsors children of need all over the globe. We created prints that people would sponsor a child from somewhere in the world and they would receive a copy of this print and because of that effort thousands of kids had their lives touched by sponsors all over. With my newest painting, Bridge of Hope, I'm launching a brand new series called Bridges of Inspiration. The theme of bridges is universal, it's the idea of a way to traverse a difficulty or a chasm in your life, a stream, something that's insurmountable. Well, the bridge provides the hope to get across that difficulty. I have a great deal of vision for this series. I want to make bridges that are images of the journey in life, uh, the journey of the soul, as we really face difficulties and challenges and reach into deep places of the spirit to receive strength. And so the Bridge of Hope, I think, celebrates the idea that as long as we can have hope, we can get through just about anything. The theme of hope is carried forward through the use of the dogwood tree that we see here. And of course, the white dogwood to me is a very symbolic tree. It's the first tree to bloom in the spring, very symbolic in the Bridge of Hope painting. Of course, we see the stream beginning in the far distance as we see a waterfall cascading down, and then we see the water as it's reflecting in a distant pool, and then the stream begins to cascade over rocks all the way down to the foreground, and we then are given the privilege of stepping over that stream on the old stone bridge. I use the sense of the stone or alabaster carved topping cornices that you see there on the bridge and the contrast between that and those flagstones, those large granite flagstones that you see or slate flagstones give the bridge I think a classic look. I created not just a stone bridge but also the idea of flowers, climbing rows that you see that is proceeding across the bridge there. And of course the azaleas and all the other flowers that seem blooming out all over in the foreground uh, just give me a chance to have fun. I love to pour the color onto those areas of the painting. I enjoyed painting the stillness of water as it flows beneath the bridge. They say still waters run deep and you can sense the depths of that pool and the coolness of that water. I also really enjoy painting reflected color. I took the light as it hit the flowers and attempted to reflect that in the surface of the water. Of course, as we dim the lights in this painting, you will see the light of the tree itself and the touches of light on the bridge really begin to glow. These are effects I try to put in every painting. I invite you to try it yourself set the lights at different levels. It really makes the colors of the painting come to life and look different at each light level. The sense of a journey is very evident in the Bridge of Hope. We are crossing over that time of need and the journey continues as we see the pathway heading off into the distance. I like the sense of mystery. We don't really know where the path is leading. But with hope to guide us and God's love there for us every day, we'll make it through. Now, the Bridge of Hope is, as I mentioned, the first piece in a brand new series called Bridges of Inspiration. So if you're one of those people that likes to watch out for those first in a series works, and this is a first of a brand new series. As I worked on this painting, I was especially aware that we live in a day and age where a lot of people are in need and whatever your faith may be, if you can just sense hope in your life, then you can weather any storm and make it through any difficulty. So my prayer for you is that you will receive a little extra hope from this work. 
So God bless each of you as you share the light.